Hotties picks, my preview for this week's PGA Tour event. It's the start of the FedEx Cup playoffs with the WGC FedEx St. Jude Classic taking place this week. And as always before the event, there has been talk of the course as Matt Jones, Taylor Gooch and Hudson Swafford were denied to play in the FedEx St. Jude Classic, even though they were the top one, two, five after the Wyndham Championship, they have since been a part of the LIV Golf Tour. And I think it's the right decision that they're not allowed to play in this tournament. They can't be playing in both, to be honest. Um, the links at the moment looks like Cameron Smith is going to join, but he is very coy on it. But I'd say he's, he's saying that because. If he comes out and says something now, they'd probably kick him out of FedEx Cup playoffs. So I think he's waiting for the FedEx to be over before he makes a decision. Or maybe there might be news to come out about that in the next few days. But if that was to happen, that would be another statement of intent. But saying that, on the course this week, and that's what all the talking should be about. Um, currently, Scotty Scheffler as number one in the FedEx rankings and I think this week he's gonna win the WGC FedEx St. Jude because uh, last year in this event he finished in the top fifteen and um, you know he'd be disappointed the way the final round of the open finished uh, a couple of weeks back and um I think he's playing very well lately. I think he'll win this week um top five. Sam Bournes is number three in the FedEx rankings and um, he's won three times this year and he actually beat Scheffler um, at the Colonial in May and um, Sam Bournes missed out on a playoff last year in this event to Abraham answer and I think Sam Bournes will finish top five this week. Cameron Young is in the top ten of the FedEx rankings going to the playoffs he impressed at the Open and he continued his good form where he finished tied second at the Rocket Mortgage Classic the tournament which Tony Fina won a couple of weeks ago and I think Cameron Young will also finish top 5 this week top 10 I think Brian Harmon he's a good player finished comfortably inside the top 10 at the Open and I think he'll finish top 10 this week for some reason he just loves the big events and also, a big e trade bet this week. Mido Pereira, everybody remember him as he disappointingly had a f- bad final hole where it looked like he was going to win the PGA Championship of Southern Hills there this year. As he showed that week, he's a very good player, hits the ball a long way. And I think he'll feature on the leaderboard this week and finish in top 10. This is the start of the FedEx Cup playoffs and let's hope the golf does the talking this weekend on the course and I hope you enjoy it.